Standing, bursting through early on from the halfway line, fools McNaught, and his shot comes back off the post. Tremendous break, McNaught completely beaten, and Rimmer as well, but Villa escape. And Rimmer under pressure again, this time a long free kick, pushed away and lobbed back across goal by blocking yet again. A lovely build-up now from Aston Villa. Peter With turning it on for Gordon Cowens. And the pass laid perfectly ahead of Tony Morley. A screamer from Morley, turned away by Chanov in the Russian goal. The teasing skills of blocking once more. He turns McNaught inside out again and again, almost too much. And the cross nodded away by Dennis Mortimer. Well, Blockin takes the corner himself and another escape for Aston Villa as Kulis heads over. Plenty of Villa defenders are in there, but Kulis still able to get in that header. But Villa breathe again. And now a real measure of the Kiev pressure, a fearful slice by McNaught and the Villa defence in confusion. The ball finally runs to Demianenko, his cross trickles past goal. In fact, there were three Russians queuing up, you can see, for that ball, but no one getting a touch. There's the terrible slice there from McNaught. You really won't want to remember that. Leads to that cross in, trickling across goal, and the three Russians queuing up for it, unable to get that final touch. It goes off Bremner, in fact, for the corner. Morley at his best now for Aston Villa, sent away by Gary Williams. Murders the fullback Besanov, a current Russian international, but Gary Shaw misses the best chance of the match. A brilliant break this by Morley, and Shaw really should have scored. He just tries to clip it past Chanov, and the keeper does just enough. But Kiev come back to win a corner. Out it comes again, and Berimaev thumps it back in. Powerful header from Demianenko, and that's just wide of Rimmer's goal. Well, at last the ball's in the net, but the goal disallowed. A free kick for Kiev, and the substitute Yevtushenko nods it on, but he shoves Bremner as he goes up again. Pulis in there, Yevtushenko gets that final ball in, but referee Walter Eschweiler from West Germany says no goal. You can see Yevtushenko in the middle of the action here. It's that push on Bremner coming up now that cancels out the goal. And Villa coming away with a very useful goalless draw from the Crimea. Well, Tony Barton, what a tough...